Welcome to Oregon. Whip for the weekend. So we're in Oregon and we're gonna go get our credentials today. Uh, Selena and I did a workout around the track. We're just kind of getting situated with the area. It's definitely not as crazy as it was in 2020 during the Olympic trials. Not so many things were blocked off. Uh, hopefully athletes get access to the track meet this year. Uh, that would be nice because we were definitely not allowed in the stadium at our own Olympic trials even though we were athletes complete competing. Um, but uh, before we go get credentials, we have to go run some important errands because um, we have priorities as athletes. Priorities. Priorities. Pull up. Pull up. That's an athlete. Que cada mes hacen un un sticker nuevo y que les sobraron bien muchos que si queríamos nos va a dar seis. Stickers, mochas, mangoes, and what else? Strawberry bananas. Strawberry bananas. Let me see how close we are to the Lululemon. Shout out to... Because I want to check out the Lululemon in Eugene to see if they have anything different from San Diego's Lululemon. Shout out to Lululemon for um, helping Selena out with her gear. Uh, shout out to Noon for helping to hydrate us during travel, during competition, during practice. <laughs> noon, we love you to the ends of the moon and back. You are the best company. You're easy to travel with, your flavors are fantastic, and it's a very simple process of just dropping Send a tab parents. into <laughs> dropping a tab into a bottle. <laughs> love you guys. Try the lemon lime. Caffeinated. Ooh, cool. Look at that. Strawberry banana? Thank you. Yes. Focus you on that? this. Focus on this. Two mangoes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow, those are beautiful. Show them. Babe, get your Yeah, let me get the mocha. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, you as well. This is a medium. Damn. Here we go. Okay, where am I going now? Damn. Uh, pull over and uh, we will find how to get to Lulu Lemon. <laughs> That's a mocha. They gave me a medium, but that thing is huge. Babe, let's see what you got. I got a mango smoothie. Mm hmm. Is it good? Wait, wait, wait. It's good. <laughs> so that's where we're headed right now. That's where the credentialing is. So we're gonna try to get across the street safely. Oregon has like massive stadiums for the sports that they love. Basketball, football, track. It's not just track town. Like it's track town, but people here are big fans of their football. Okay, so are you gonna focus? All right, so we're at credentials. Uh, we uh, actually showed up to the Matthew Knight Stadium, it's the basketball stadium at Hayward, or at um, Oregon, my bad. Uh, Hayward is its own field. And uh, we got our credentials, so here's mine. Let me flip my camera. Here's mine, I was telling the, telling the lady, I was like, my credentials never look good, so she let me really pull out a good smile there. But um, <laughs> Selena's a little bit upset because she spent the entire time in the line asking me like, oh, how should I do my I hair? I just asked, I just wanted to know if it looked better with my hair back like this or if I looked better with my hair like this. And I go in, I'm talking to the guy and I'm like, oh, how's your day going? Like, try not to make it awkward. And he's like, good, good, like, what are you here for? And I was like, 20K race walk. And he's all like, oh, 20K race walk. Oh my gosh, why would you ever do that to yourself? And I'm like, ha ha ha. And like, then he goes, well, you're done. Have, a, have the best day of your life on 20k on Saturday and I was like what and then I'm like they never gave me a cue for my credential that's so, so I go to pick up my credential and I tell the lady I said please can I see my photo because he didn't give me a cue sure 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 let's see it you look like you just saw an alien oh my god Skinwalker Ranch For every car that a Nike worker owns like that, another track athlete enters into poverty.
No, you're okay, you're okay. Sorry. <laughs> Selena and I are at the track right now. And uh, we are just kind of scoping out the temperature and we're scoping out the calm. Yeah, we're scoping out the temperature and it is so much hotter on the inside of the stadium than it is on the outside. Like we, we stepped in and you could feel the heat just... Uh, Christian, Christian Cash from San Diego is running right now. He's right there in, our, in, the, head, in the headband. So I unfortunately have to be very careful on how I use my camera because athletes are not allowed to be or nobody's allowed to have like any kind of like filming material while on the track. But right here is where uh, the old race walking course used to be actually. It used to go right up and you would actually get the chance to walk right alongside the stadium. And uh, it was pretty cool, but um, day one in Oregon is all all done. And uh, we are, we're headed back home to relax and to uh, figure out plans for food. And that is a very beautiful woman right there. I wonder, what she, I wonder where she'll give me her phone number. Give me your phone number? Who are you? Uh, I'm prom queen Selena Lepin. Ah, uh, <laughs> prom queen. All right, so we've got some new things here. First and foremost, crispy, fresh. Got my very own Stop pre tea. That's number one. On the back side, it's a cotton tea, so I mean, hopefully it lasts a long time, but you know how cotton teas can be. On the back side, there's a 1972 to 2022, 50 years later, still can't be stopped. That's obviously more about Nike than it is about Prefontaine. No offense, I love you, Pre. Second, New York AC bicycle shorts. This is more than just like a half tight, this is really long, so I'm gonna try these on. I'm gonna see if these fit and if they're worth racing in. They might be a little too long though. Tracksmith? I like Tracksmith, but their fabric can kind of carry a lot of water. More Tracksmith, but this one is a jersey. This jersey is very nice. I opened it up. Feel the fabric. Feel how light that is. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right? I'm gonna wear that. Okay, the shorts. <gasps> Oh, I might wear those too. I am a little bit surprised at how nice that feels. Tracksmith has upped their game. It's not so heavy. That looks sweet. You gonna be twinning with me? Yeah, I guess so. But then we'll look more like a like a team. This is cool. I like the New York AC. I like the short. This is going to match well with the, the new socks that I bought. This, I'm in love with this. The design is actually in the short. Oh, I'm totally wearing this. Let me go get the half tights. Those are like swimmer. Yeah, these are really long. He did say they were kind of like biker shorts. These are cool. Oh, they're Adidas. Yeah. It doesn't match. These might be spares. You know what? This would go well with the other jersey that I have. What are those? <laughs> Good morning. We're at the big old U of O. Wait, wait, hold on. Go back to the Okay, o. okay. I'll go back to the O. Okay, hold on. Wait, okay. My face is the center of the O. Wait. Oh, how beautiful you are. We are, um... Okay, let me... F go. Okay, I'm at the O. Go. <laughs> Did you get it? 
<laughs> I did get it. Yes. We're up here at the U of O. We got our pre our pre race day workout in. Um, just some strides, you know, two hundreds. But um, we're running into some friends out here because everybody is, you know, they're getting ready for for tomorrow. And I'm telling you right now, it's got to be like what 62, 60 degrees, 65. It's pretty chilly, and um, we're really we're excited to race. I'm like, I'm like, just let, let's let's get started with this. Let me show you guys the track real quick. I'm gonna show them the track real quick. Um, you know, we're 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 prepping nice and easy. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna be here at 6:30. Right now, what time is it right now, babe? I don't even know what time it is right now. Let me see. It is 10:46, and it's that cold. So, like, it's looking like it's gonna be a pretty cold race. Um, any other things? The competition should be pretty good. There's a, a handful of ladies who are competing for the world championship spot tomorrow, and Nick is going to be gunning. Nick is the only person who's close to making world champs right now, uh, so he's sitting pretty at like 50th or 51st, and I think he needs to walk like a 122 to to really secure his position. So, best of luck to Nick tomorrow for that, and uh, following closely behind him as we start. But uh, this is cool, man. The vibes here are really nice. Wearing hip number five, sixth a year ago. She was the US 5K champion in January. She was sixth in the U.S. Indoor 3000, and she was fifth in the trials in 21. This is Selena Lepe. Next to AM, wearing hip 11, 2017 U.S. 20K road walking champion for New York Athletic Club, Emmanuel Corvera. And in the women's competition, and Maria Meet to Coffee continues to lead. She's been our leader from the gun in this women's 20,000 meters. Headed past the experience board. She went through 7,200 in 34, 48, 48. Miranda Melville went through that 70. Fifteen thousand six hundred for Maria. Meet to coffee at one fourteen eleven. Maria Meet to coffee through 18,800, 130, 38, 204, 20 on that last lap. Less than a thousand to go now for Maria Meek to copy.
Emmanuel Corvera. He finishes up this 20,000 meter race walk in the runner up position. NYAC teammates getting congratulated by Nick Christie. And finishing in third, here's Samuel Allen of the Shore Athletic Club. We're all done with the race. Woo! We couldn't record any of it though because of. But my dad has recording. Oh, he does. I saw him on his. Phone. Oh, excellent! That'll be great. It was awesome. <laughs> Fifty laps. So much fun. Thank you, Hayward, for the I magic. Had the Hayward magic. Ah, oh, the magic. I got the magic in me. Every time I win in circles, Hayward set free. What? What, what, what version of the song is this? We we went out. We went out in the morning and like it was magic <sighs> stepping out onto that track with all the lights on. Thank God they had all the lights on. That was really cool. And like we got to like just soak in that moment of it's like awesome. lining up, right? What did it feel like to step out on that track with all the lights on, the stadiums all empty just for us? That was, um, I feel like it was very unique. And it's a feeling like no other athlete gets to experience. Yeah. Like, I agree. I'm sure there's a whole different feeling when, like, the stands are full to walk out there and, like, feel everybody's energy. But in a way, it's like that could have been a little bit too much. Mm. Like, having mm. everybody's energy, being your first time out on there, like, I'm grateful that I had to experience it the way I did. That, like, I can walk out there and, like, be contained like with my energy only like it's it's my energy <laughs> and my energy and Hayward yeah like I know there was other people out there but it's my energy because my bubble is that big it was it was cool man like really get into the zone where it's just like you really are just grateful to be a part of everything and I hope that that never really disappears if we ever get the chance to race on the track here again because you know like for all we know, that was the first and last time. You never know. And like half the other times we might be going back to road racing or like a 1K circuit loop or a 2K circuit loop, but like that was just something I probably won't forget. Like I'm running around the same track that like Prefontaine used to run around that some of the best athletes in the world have broken records on. And it's just like, it's just awesome.